If you're like me and you're a fan of the HTC Vive or the Oculus Rift, one thing you have to admit is that the worst part about it is being tethered to a $3,000, $5,000, maybe $10,000 machine. That won't be a problem if Display Link has its way. They've come up with a way to turn that into this. So Andrew, tell me what you're holding and what I'm holding. Sure, so we've been reviewing docks on uh, for Laptop and Times Guide for a long time. This is an office dock. It's an enterprise dock. You plug your computer into it, you plug your monitors out the other side, boom, you have two, three, four, however many monitors you need. What they've done is they, they've taken the Ygig dock, so it uses wireless technology, and they basically made a stronger, more potent version of that and put it into this on the back of a VR headset. So this is a reference design. And what this does is allows for wireless VR. It eliminates the tether, meaning you can walk around the room and not worry about pulling your $10,000, $5,000 rig over. I've tried this and it actually does work. Um, it's n not as um, heavy as it looks. Not, not at all. It's actually a lot more comfortable than I would have expected and I'm thankful for that. This, it's like Pinocchio. There are no strings on me. I was able to walk, dodge, punch, kick, do whatever I had to do without worrying about A, walking to, into a wall, B, tripping over a wire, or C, yanking said cord out of the desktop. I got on the floor with this thing. You know, at first it's a little weird because if you're like us and you've used some VR, you have to get rid, you have to get rid of the fact that you've been preconditioned to have bad VR experiences. <laughs> but once you once you get over that, you can you can roll around with this thing. So it's really cool. And did you did you think it works? What did you think about latency? I didn't notice any latency. Yeah. Actually, it seemed smoother than usual. The only really a real addition outside of this is the transmitter, which actually sits on a tripod, kind of the way you would set up your base stations for an HEC Vive, and that's the magic essentially letting you walk around uh, cordless. That transmitter is a 60 gigahertz transmitter. It's not like Wi-Fi, it's not going to go through your walls, it's it's a very specific targeted thing, and that's why they put it on that tall, tall tripod so it can beam right down and really get coverage. So right now, this isn't a product per se, nope. uh, this is a reference uh, design, and that what that basically means Intel, HTC, Oculus, Qualcomm, anybody looking to get into VR space might want to talk to Display Link and make this a reality very, very soon. They are talking to partners. They won't tell me who, but they do tell me to expect some news possibly as soon as Q4 of this year. Okay. And to possibly see some working stuff at CES next year so we can get excited for a wireless future really, really soon. But until then, uh, wireless VR, it exists. It's, it's in my hand. I've had it on my head. Uh, I'm Sherelle Smith for Tom's Guide. And I'm Andrew E. Friedman for Tom's Guide.